What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar, and we are talking about Jesus Coin. It's been a couple days, you guys, but nothing, not a whole lot's happened in the past week, let's be real. I mean, I know there's moments of excitement, moments of despair, but really we're just moving sideways. Um, I think, you know, we've creeped and crawled for the past week. We broke below this level. We're finding, like, resistance at the previous area that we were holding. I, I think it's inevitable, guys. We are going to go lower. Just brace for that, right? If you haven't braced for it already, um, you know, I flip bearish probably, like, right around this time here, like, genuinely speaking. Um, I did think that we were going to get a nice bounce off of this, but but uh, was it was it this? It might have been this day that I was bearish because the, the bounce wasn't what I expected it to be. Um but who cares? You know that's that's not relevant right now. What's really relevant is I think that we are going to go lower, and I wanna I wanna touch back on uh, on something I said in my last video, which is the idea of like the Easter burn. I wanna I wanna say, you know, I've had a lot of positive feedback. I've had some people who don't like the idea, you know, and and I get it. I, I've whenever I said it, I very much expected that not everybody would be on board. Um, and I don't, I don't personally think everybody needs to be on board. You know, if there's people that want to hold their coins, go for it. That's fine. But I am willing to to burn some of my coins, um, if if there's a solid bit of people who want to do it too. If we can get some kind of like movement together in burning our coins. But I don't think that we should do it on Easter Day. I think we should do it on Christmas Day. It's a bit further away, but it's a bit more bit more time to plan things out and get coordinated and get the word out and get get the hype going about it you know uh, another christmas day burn that just that makes sense to me um it would have been nice to do an easter burn but the fact guys it's like less than two months away technically i feel like by the time the word got out the the event would already pass so we, we want the hype to be driven we want you know maybe like six seven months of time to get the word out there to get people to hear about it and be like what is that is that actually happening this is crazy and like maybe it's happening maybe it's not you never know because uh like just like with the burn we thought it was happening but maybe it is maybe it's not and the, the tokens are essentially burned coin gecko coin uh market cap recognizes them as burn but they're locked away, right? And that's that's what we can do. That's the whole uh, reason I brought that up. Is I very much do I very much do think it'd be a good idea, um, you know, if we could get some kind of like significant part of the community. We don't even need half the community, but but over half would be great. But even if we had like twenty percent of the community to to agree to burn their tokens, um, not all their tokens, obviously, guys. I'm just talking about one percent. Um, I've got some people who have said 2%. There's one guy that said 10%. And I'm like, man, don't go crazy with it. Um, you know, if 10% of your tokens is $100, okay, cool. But if $100 is a lot of money, do you don't, you know, don't don't go burning uh, your life savings. Like, you know, that, that could turn into like some serious gains. There are a few of you out there who've brought up, you know, that you want to do good with your money. You want to do, you, you don't want to burn it because you could use that money to do good for other people. And I, I respect that. I get that. You know, there's no shame in in that at all. Like, more power to you. That's awesome. But I would challenge the thought that, you know, the whole purpose of the burn is to inevitably give yourself more cash to give Jesus coin more of a leg up, right? Because the less, it's just fundamentals of economics, right? Less supply. If, if you have something, the demand stays consistent, but the supply goes down, price will go up. And with this thing, we're getting new holders all the time. I mean, not not for a little while, not for a couple of weeks now, um, but we're getting new holders, you know, month to month all the time. And probably throughout this cycle, we will get a lot of new holders as well, especially as exchanges start to list it, if and when that happens. Um, if demand stays the same, but supply goes down, fundamentals of economics would mean that the price goes up. And how do we get the supply to go down? Well, we're not going to get the supply to go down unless unless we burn some tokens. That's essentially it. And again, I'm not talking about a large bit. I'm really the the idea too is that not not only would that help drive the price just on like a supply shock value, it wouldn't it wouldn't really shock the supply because again, if every single holder, which that's not going to happen, but if every single holder got behind this and burned one percent of their tokens, that'd only be one percent of the supply. <coughs> that's not going to be a huge supply shock. It's it's somewhat significant. Don't get me wrong. But the main thing about it would be the hype around the event. That's that's the thing. It's it's the it's the news driven event. It's the hype around the event. And there might be maybe eighty percent of of the token holders say they're gonna burn their tokens. And then instead of it being eighty, only fifty percent of the total 
uh, 80% of people burn their tokens, right? Maybe some people chicken out at the end or, or they're saying they're going to do it just to like, like seem cool. And then they're like, nah, I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys burn your tokens. I'm going to hold on to them. However, it happens. Likely what happens almost every time is you get to buy the news, sell the rumor or, or buy, buy the hype, sell the rumor. That's what it is. Um, and, and I very much think that it would be another sell the news event, but that's the thing is it could drive prices just based on the hype alone. And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, you know, I don't know. I, I still haven't heard enough uh, conviction from, from people to like convince me that, that I'm going to do that, you know, but I very much do think that Christmas day, the Christmas day would be a better time for the burn. So, um, let's try and get that coordinated guys. Cause if, if people really would like to do that, I would, I'd be about it, man. I really would. I know I've gotten more positive comments than negative comments, but, uh, you know, I really think it's the right community guys. I really do think it's the right community because we're all crazy about this coin. We want to see it succeed. And I know a lot of you, like you want to make money, but you don't necessarily care about money. And with that kind of logic, I feel like, you know, what's, what's 1%. You know, if it's for the greater good, what's 1%? And I hear I hear the people that want to keep their tokens so that they can sell them um, and help people out. I hear that too. But if you shock the supply a little bit, arguably, and, and with the hype, maybe that drives prices up higher than it would without this whole event thing, right? So, and maybe it doesn't. Maybe the price would be what it is with or without this idea. I don't know. Um, I've heard some other good ideas too in the comments, you know, some that I've had constructive like criticisms and feedbacks on, but, but still good ideas. Nonetheless, I think, I think that it's really unique how this community is, uh, coming together to, to try and figure out besides just getting listed on an exchange to, to, to try and figure out how to, uh, put Jesus coin on the map. It's really, it's really cool. You guys, it's really cool. I've got a really good feeling about Jesus coin. I think it's going to do well with or without my cockamamie ideas with or without anybody else's you know i think i think just the fact that people are willing to to put ideas out there and and most of the community is willing to like hear it and give feedback whether it's negative feedback or positive feedback i mean that's that's awesome i think it's i think it's really awesome so enough enough buttering the bread let's uh let's get into this here you know where are we going to go low to high here relatively speaking i would expect the 1272 to the 1618 is inevitable Somewhere between about 70.9795 to 70.72. Very soon. Very, very soon. Like probably by the end of the month of February. Probably. Yep. We are going to be in the land of the seven zeros. We might even be at the land of 707s. Maybe even the 705s. Um, where will the low be? I don't know. It could, it could genuinely be all the way down here. I personally don't expect that we're going to see it this low. I would expect more probably somewhere in this area or this area. We might be like literally right in between these white lines or right on top of either one of them. But it doesn't have to be this low either. It could be higher, but nonetheless lower than where we are now is what I'm thinking. We do have some bullish divergence presenting itself on the daily. You can see here we have these nice like higher lows coming into play and we do have lower highs here or low, lower lows here. Um, absolutely, we could move up. I think we've got you know a pretty established downtrend in the RSI right now. We could move up to the upper limits of this and then come down. That would actually put us right at the 40 area, which is the bearish area of control. Rejecting that, and then that would probably send us. That'd be the catalyst to send us down. So, could we move up from here to like six zeros one four, maybe even six zeros one five, maybe even six zeros one seven? Sure, but it's it's nothing to get excited about, guys. In fact, a move like that, what that would do if we were to move up like this and then down, that would be a rejection right off of a previous area of support, right? That wouldn't look good. It'd be exciting because we haven't had any kind of real price action in like the last week, but um, don't get too excited. That's all I'm going to say. It'd be a decent amount of growth too, right? For something that's not exciting, it would be pretty damn exciting because we'd move up like 40%. That's nice. But again, I, th I think that we have lower to go inevitably. So don't FOMO in on the pump. And don't panic sell on the dump. Not financial advice, but that's just my opinion. So um, let me know what you guys think about everything that I've said today. You know, if, if you if you uh, think that the Christmas burn is a good idea, I think it's a better idea than the, the Easter burn. Personally, I think it's going to give us more time to kind of coordinate things. Um, and I think it's it's better than like trying to like coordinate a pump or a dump kind of event. You know, in a sense, it would be like a, a buy the hype kind of event. So that would pump prices. Um, but it's not like a coordinated effort to have people pumping the price in itself. So, you know, that, that should save us from any like legality troubles. But, uh, 
I, I do think I do think that uh, a Christmas burn would be more beneficial than a Easter burn. I think it would give us more time, right? Anyways, that's it. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.